A winner, Flippagram, an app that lets you string together photos and videos to make a mini movie. Launched in 2013, it took Flippagram only one year to reach 30 million users versus Snapchat that took two years and Facebook three. Videos are advertiser friendly as many of the products and brands featured in the videos can be linked to the host site. Lionsgate recently used Flippagram to promote the launch of the most recent Hunger Games film, and other brands, including Jack Daniels and Uber, are active users. As on YouTube, it appears that vloggers, or Flippastars as they're referred to on Flippagram, do better than brands of producing popular content. Their videos about their dogs or families typically attract in excess of a million views. A continued winner, WeChat. As users abandon Sina Weibao and engagement slows, brands are turning to the Chinese messaging platform in droves. WeChat has 3x the monthly active users of Sina Weibao. Of the 100 beauty brands in our digital IQ index, China Beauty, 96 have accounts on WeChat. That's a 30% increase year on year. One of the winners, Lancome. Of the 10 most popular posts by beauty brands, Half are from Lancome-owned brands. Their WeChat account is boosted by advertising and integration with its loyalty program, and the brand is also not above direct pleas for engagement. As software continues to eat the world and create tens of billions of dollars in shareholder value, who is also winning? Philanthropy. Last week, Mark Zuckerberg became the latest Silicon Valley entrepreneur to turn to charitable causes. Six of the U.S.'s 10 largest donors in 2014 come from the tech industry, including WhatsApp's co-founder, Jan Koum, or Jan Koum, who the hell is that? Anyways, Napster's Sean Parker and GoPro's Nicholas Woodman. Baby Center just released its 2015 list of top baby names with the old standbys of Jackson leading for the third year in a row for boys and Sophia holding the number one girl spot for the sixth consecutive year. Jackson and Sophia, that's child abuse. Anyways, this year's Instagram was also a source of inspiration with several filter names Growing in popularity as names for little ones. For boys, Lux rose in popularity by 75%, and Ludwig was up 42%. For girls, Valencia was up 26%, and Juno was up 30%. I was the original gangster here. I named my kids after my favorite prescription pharmaceuticals. Abilify, do your homework, and stop bothering Cialis. That's right, I raise kids. Think about that. We'll see you next week.